And some of you guys may be wondering why I have all these dash panels here on the table. Um, I wanted to do a supplemental video because last time we talked about all the dash panel options and what you need to pick depending on what your requirements are because every NSX owner is in a different position. Uh, today I wanted to go through that a little bit better because uh, we forgot to cover the recessed double din panel, which is what our original design was. So let's go through each of these panels real quick. And then if you guys have questions, you know, you're welcome to call us and we'll explain it to you over the phone. But essentially, uh, when you purchase an NSX, some NSX owners, they buy pristine cars that have absolutely no problems. They have the original dash panel, they have everything in the car, but they want to preserve everything because, you know, pretty much the NSX is all going to be collectible these days. So if you got one of those pristine NSXs and you want to put a double din radio in the car and you're just thinking, what's the best way to do it? I don't want to hack up my panel. Uh, best way to do is just pick up one of the uh, full carbon double din panels such as this one. This is our probably our latest version. Uh, we've gone through a lot of different options and different um, designs, but this one we've settled on is because it's, it's super light, it's super strong, and the best part about this is you get to keep your original panel. So you keep that panel tucked away, drop this panel into the cart, put your double din in with a bracket and you're ready to go. Transfer your, your shift boot, your coin tray, this thing has all the original OEM attachment points, so there's no glue in anything. Everything bolts right on. You see in our other videos how they're installed in the vehicle, so they fit perfectly. Uh, this is probably the easiest solution. This panel is available in both gloss carbon, which you can see here, all these panels are gloss, or the optional matte carbon finish. The matte finish, the bonus, it does match the OEM parts. So if you don't want to replace, let's say, the upper vent trim on your car, and you want to do the OEM trim, you can get a matte panel and it matches pretty well. But let's say uh, you want to go through some of the other options. So over here to my right, I have a couple more panels. Um, the biggest problem with OEM panels, this is from a client we removed it from his car. You can see that it always breaks down here, right? These are the two points that breaks because when you cut the double din, you end up with very little material on each corner. So any little stress is going to crack it. You can see this panel. The owner tried to repair it himself a couple times with Bondo. But the thing with Bondo is over time, it's gonna crack again. So even though this panel has been repainted, fixed, it's still cracking, you can see. So if you had a panel like this in your car existing, and you said, hey, I wanna use that panel, well, you can send this panel to us. We can do all the difficult work, stripping, removing, making the double din hole. We can delete the ashtray, which is what most people opt to do because when you delete the ashtray, you have a little bit better spacing. But if you say, hey, I really want to keep my ashtray, that's what we did here. You could keep the ashtray and do the panel, make the opening, we'll finish it in carbon. So that's one option. Um, the other option is, let's say you want to go with, let's say a Wilman radio mod or something, and you want you have the original panel, but it's all flaking off, send it to us, we can refinish it, and it looks like this. So this is pretty much an OEM panel. Use the OEM cassette player, OEM ashtray. The only difference is it's all finished up in carbon overlay. So. Lastly, if you did want the recessed panel, I don't have one here on the table, but let's go take a look at this real quick clip and then I'll come back and show you what the advantages are. Okay, so we saw how the, the double din panel fits with the recessed, how it looks and how it reduces glare. The thing with the recessed double din panel, the reason we don't have it here is because those panels are only made from OEM panels. So if you had a broken up panel such as this, you can send it to us and we can do the work and then make that recessed double din. The reason we don't sell it directly is because that panel does have a couple compromises. Although the, the glare reduction, it puts it at a much better angle. The, the issue is you're moving the radio from this position here, you're moving it down to this position and you're tilting it. So when you do that, you're gonna to have to modify the back of the OEM console slightly to make that radio fit in the new position. Because essentially your radio is fitting where the ashtray is now, right? Because it's gonna be tilted down over here in this section right here. The other aspect is when it is with the recessed double din, 
the bottom of that radio is going to be tucked in back here somewhere. So which means that when you're trying to adjust the volume controls, you probably have to use your little pinky to adjust it because it's going to be right here at the bottom tucked inside. So those are some things that, you know, with the recessed double din, uh, you might have some issues with. The other issue is because you're putting it in a, in a, in a tunnel, essentially, uh, certain radios don't fit. So only certain models of these radios will fit in that recessed double din tunnel, as you saw in the, the pictures earlier. So those are the different options. Um, if you want the easiest option, just pick up the full carbon panel from us, matte or gloss carbon, pop it in your car, you're ready to go. You can keep your original panel. If you must have your ashtray, the only way to do it is to send us the OEM panel. We will modify it to make it look like this. We can also refinish your OEM panels if you wish. And lastly, you have that recessed double din panel, which if you want it, we can build it for you uh, as a one-off. So you tell us what radio you're gonna use, you tell us what panel you're gonna supply us, and then we'll do all the work. And that's what you see in the, the pictures following this. Any questions, let me know. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.